Hi, my name is Andrew St. Remy with the Parks and Recreation Department at the City of Coconut Creek. And I'm going to show you guys how to play casino, which in Haitian culture, we call it casino. Um, it's a really fun game. It's a game that a lot of, a lot of older Haitians play. Uh, my grandfather taught me, uh, my, my father also taught me, and it's a game that I continue to play with my brother, my dad, my mom, and my cousins. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we play and the instructions and the rules. All right, so this is how we play casino. So it's best played if you have four players. Um, you can play with three players, you can play with two players, but uh, it's a better game if you have four players. So uh, this is uh, player one, which will be me, and I'll be playing for all of the other players. This is player two, player three, player four. All right, so everyone gets four cards. Once everyone gets their four cards, then you have to play four, place four cards in the middle of the table. All right, these are the cards that are up for grabs. So, first person on the left is the first one that goes. So this is a game of addition. So you wanna capture uh, all of the cards that the middle cards add up to. So for instance, this person goes first and there is a six and there is a five. All right, that equals 11. So jacks are worth 11, uh, queens are worth 12, kings are worth 13, and aces are worth one and they're also worth 14. So with this six and five, I'm able to capture that as well as this jack. So I'll simply scoop these cards up and place them to the side. So now I have accumulated four cards, all right, for player two. So now it's player three's turn. The only card that's on the table is a nine, okay? So now player three has a nine, so player three can go ahead and capture the nine. All right, so right now the middle of the table is empty. So it's player three's turn, all right? So this player, the best thing to do is if there's nothing in the middle of the, uh, of the table, just place your lowest card down, all right? Because you wanna hold on to your higher, your higher cards so you can scoop up all of the lower cards. So this person just went, now it's my turn. So what I, what I wanna go ahead and do is throw out my lower card as well. So I'm gonna place a two, all right. Now it's this player's turn. Now they have a two, so they could go ahead and then scoop up this two right here, all right. And now, if you look at this hand, there is a three in the middle of the table and there's a four, seven, and 10. What you can do is something called stacking. So I can place my four on top of the three, which basically locks this, uh, this set of cards up. It equals seven, okay? So that means that only a person with the seven can take these cards and this cannot be separated. So now it's this player's turn. Although this player just stacked it up for themselves to grab, since this player has a seven, this player can go ahead and then steal this pack of cards away. All right, and then the process just continues. Uh, now I have, since I have two aces and I haven't accumulated any cards yet, I'll place the ace in the middle. Um, with the six and the eight, there's nothing that this player can grab. I'll just go ahead and throw my lowest card, which is a six, and here, uh, remember I told you before, an ace is worth a one or a 14. So in this case, with this seven, six plus one, I could go ahead and grab these bunch of cards and place them off to the side. All right, since there's nothing in the table, I wanna go ahead and put my smallest card in the middle. Here, there's nothing really I can put down. So my, in this case, my smallest card would be a king. And then since there's nothing to take, this person would then put their card in, this person would then put their card in, this person would then put their card in. And since there is nothing for me to take here, I would go ahead and place my card in the middle. So that round is done. So for the second round, you'll go right back to the deck. This person gets another four cards. This player gets another four cards. 
This player gets another four cards. And I get another four cards. Okay, and this is the deck that we always pull from once the round is over. So these are all of the cards that are available. And the same process will continue until uh, all of the rounds are, are done and finished. And once all of the cards are up, the person with the most cards in the end would then have to uh, count up. Everyone counts up all their cards and the person with the most cards essentially wins the game. So this is a game of math, addition, a little bit of strategy um, with locking the cards and stacking the cards up. So this is a really good game that you can play with family, friends. Uh, best way to play it and have a great time is with four players. Um, and this is a game that's very special to me because I have my grandfather who's from Haiti. Uh, he, he's taught me and my brother to play it. Um, my, my father also taught me to play it as well. And uh, to this day, I continue to play with my dad, my brother, aunts, uncles, and cousins. So it's a really fun game. Uh, uh, you also need to know your math to play and uh, it kind of keeps you on your toes, you know, mathematically. So I want to thank you all for um, watching and uh, learning how to play, you know, as us Haitians say, casino.